Hey guys, it's Rachel from T-Hawk Studio with another episode of T-Hawk's Two Cents. Today, I didn't get a chance to tape at my shop, uh, just got kind of busy, so I'm in the mud room at my house, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit messed up. Uh, but today what I wanted to do was talk to you guys about leather watch bands. Any of you who have been following me for a significant period of time know that these watch bands are sort of like a signature of mine. A couple years ago, I had a gentleman who came in, we were doing a custom order. He wanted to incorporate leather, and so I got kind of a crash course in how to do these leather bands, and it sort of just started evolving from there. Um, and what I want to talk to you today about is specifically the leather part. So when you get a leather watch band, there is a break-in period. Leather is naturally an absorbent material and so it can get dried out. If you're not wearing it all the time, uh, it doesn't have the chance to absorb the oils from your skin. Uh, and so I just kind of wanted to go over some tips and tricks. If you're getting a little bit of discomfort during that break-in period, uh, you can always go buy a leather conditioner. They sell this at Hobby Lobby on Amazon. It's super simple to use. Just lay down a paper towel, take your watch band and unhook it, and then just slide the ornamental piece off the back. You can slide your keeper off the back as well. And you just lay this on a paper towel and then take a paintbrush or a Q-tip or a napkin and basically on both sides, put that leather conditioner on both sides. It's gonna help the oils be absorbed from your skin, but it's also going to keep this oiled up and keep it from being like dry and uncomfortable. Once you're done putting that conditioner on, all you do is make sure you put your keeper back on first, this little hook guy. Put your keeper on, just slide that on. And then you put your ornamental piece back on. And then boom, you're ready to go. Uh, another thing about the leather is depending on how big this ornamental piece is, I use different thicknesses of leather. So if it's a bigger ornamental piece, I'm gonna be using a thicker leather, le leather like a six or seven ounce. And so that's gonna take a little bit longer to break in and so a conditioner is not a bad thing. You can even use olive oil if you're in a pinch and you really need to use something. Uh, if you have something with a smaller ornamental piece, I use to like a three to four ounce leather. And so it doesn't take as long to break in. But the best suggestion is to wear it consistently so that it's constantly absorbing the oils from your skin. And that's just gonna help the leather become really soft and supple. Uh, another tip is if you put your watch band on and say the tail, this thing is a little too long, you can go in with a pair of scissors and snip it off to the length that you would like it to be. Uh, and then basically what you do is you put it in this keeper. So if you're storing your watch band, always hook the keeper to keep that leather from wanting to flop out. Um, you do have to train your keeper and the leather again to stay where you want it to go. So as you're breaking this in, if your keeper isn't where you like it to be, and you recognize it throughout the day, just go ahead and put that keeper, keep putting it where you like it, and eventually it's just gonna stay there. So that's also another really helpful thing to help this tail from sticking out in places that you don't like it to stick out in. Uh, also, another thing is if you need to keep your watch band clean, like the ornamental part is getting kind of yucky, you can just slide it off again, use those sunshine cloths like I've described before in previous videos, and that's a really good way to keep your watch band nice and shiny and clean, keep kind of that gunk off, because when we're working with our hands and we're wearing something on our hands, things tend to get dirtier faster and that gunk builds up. And again, you guys know if you need a deeper polish, just bring it into me, I'll take care of that for you. If you find that your watch band, the leather part is kind of wearing out and you'd like to get a new one, you can swing down to the shop. I keep all of these in stock. Um, I make them myself, so I always have different colors, different sizes, uh, and you can swing down and just get a whole new piece of leather. It's only $15, and then you can just sl like slide that on your ornamental piece, and you're good to go, and it, it's just like almost a brand new watch band. Um, if you guys have any other questions about watch bands or about how to wear a watch band or the break-in period of a watch band, um, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll try to answer those for you. Uh, if you're looking for a new watch band, I've got 18 new ones I just finished up. They're all in stock, so come down to the shop, see me. We'll probably have a little chat because I'm a chatty lady, and we'll find you whatever you need. I hope that you guys all have a great week, and I will see you next Thursday for another episode of T-Hawks Two Cents.